And here we go. Share. Everybody can see my screen, just nod if you can. Brilliant, excellent. So the assumption for this short 30 minute presentation on matrix is that you have searches down pat. We are just going to play with the map because the map has a lot of features that uh, I happen to like a lot. I think they're fun. And I notice that sometimes it's sort of underutilized. So I am going to pull a search it's not a very refined search. It's a search that I made up just for this class. So it's Boca single family homes. Um, I'll show you the criteria. There you go. The criteria for my search is Boca single family homes, uh, four bedrooms or more, three bedrooms or more, $550,000 or less with a pool anyone in Boca Raton, right? This is a more or less reasonable search, something you can encounter in real life. Somebody telling you, hey, I can live anywhere in Boca, but I need a pool, has to be a single family home, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to jump directly to the map. We're gonna start playing with it. So on the map, the map will normally zoom to a region that covers all your results. So if you have a very wide search and you have like 500 results, uh, two things are gonna happen. First, the map may be very, very wide. You may start all the way in Jupiter and end in Hallandale. Um, or if the region is small, you may get a warning telling you, hey, you have too many results. I cannot see so many, I cannot display so many results, all right? Um, but the results are on the map anyway when that happens. So I, I'm gonna show you the basic stuff first. Each one of these green markers is one of the results. And if you just hover, if you move your pointer on top of one of these results, you get the bedrooms, the bathrooms, and the price. Not too exciting, but if you click once, just once, not the ugly, you click once, then you get something a little bit better. You get the main picture for the listing, your listing number, which probably you know this already. If you click on the listing number, it's going to open the detail view for the listing. The status, uh, and these links, I find that they really don't work. When you click on the tax link or the listing link, it's exactly the same thing as clicking on this. So if you wanna see the taxes for the property, you have to do two steps. One step, click on the listing of the tax, it's gonna take you to the same place. And second step, go to IMAP. Do you see the little icon right there? The little icon that looks like a little world? That is IMAP. So if you need to see the taxes, don't get frustrated. When you click on taxes, it just takes you back to the full view. Just click on IMAP and ta-da! It's going to take you to IMAP. Well, now I have to log in, don't worry about that because we're not doing IMAP today. We are going to do IMAP uh, next month or... Sorry about that, I forgot to put my phone on silent. Sorry, sorry, I apologize. I apologize. There you go. So, back to my map. Just click on the map tab again. You see how when I click on the map, on the map tab, it takes me back to exactly where I was? This is precisely what I was seeing before. This is the highlighted listing. Now let's imagine that I actually like this listing for my buyer. Okay, I can just select it. And if you put a check mark in there, notice how the marker changes. It goes from green to blue. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. Uh, I imagine that you know this already, but I'm gonna mention it anyway. If you wanna move the map around with your mouse, you click and drag, click and drag. And another one that you may know, if you're using a mouse and you want to zoom in or out of the map, use the wheel in the middle of your mouse. See what happens? In and out with the wheel on your mouse. How cool is that? If you did not know that, now I'm sure you're gonna start playing with it. So um, let's imagine that in this scenario, I like this property and uh, I like that one, and I like this one, 
And I like, uh, I don't know, this other one. Random stuff. You know how that goes. Okay, so I'm looking at the map and see, I have blue, 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 blue. And I need to, let's imagine that I need to organize, uh, um, I have to go and tour these properties with my body. Yeah? Okay. One easy way to get directions at the bottom here, you have directions. Now, if you haven't selected any listings, directions will not be available. It's going to be grayed out. You have to select directions. And if you think about it, it makes sense. Directions to where? You're not telling me directions to where. So you have to select the listings that you want. Once you select them, Matrix is going to pull directions in the background from Google Maps, which are very good directions, and it's going to organize a tour that sort of makes sense when you're driving around. You can see the tour in its entirety on the left side of the screen. See, you start at property number one, drive to number two, three, four, five. And another cool thing that you can do is you can add stops. So let's imagine that you are going to meet with your buyer at, uh, at the office, yes? Well, if you're going to meet at the office and you would like to add the office to the tour so you have complete directions, you scroll to the bottom of this report, click where it says add start, because we are going to meet at the office, we're going to start there. And uh, I am going to copy and paste the address for our office in Boca Raton. You're gonna click on find stop. It's not gonna add it automatically. You have to click on add stop, find stop. And then you ask it to give you directions again. And look at that, you see how it, this is the start, number one. And now two, three, four, five, and six. And if I want to end the tour at a particular place, let's imagine that I want to end the tour at the office too. And I want directions from my last showing all the way to the office. All you do is just to add a stop to the address that you want in there. You repeat the process. Find stop, refresh by thinking on directions, and check that out. Now I have a whole tour. I start here, two, three, four, five, six, and back to the end. If you want to email this, all you have to do is click on email. You know the rest, you do this pretty much every day, you're sending reports. The cool thing is when you email this, uh, your customer is going to receive the same directions that you see, and they also have a couple of nice uh, little extras on the map. They can see the layers that I'm going to show you now. They can see school layers, they can see zip code, CD layers is pretty cool. So this is like a conversation piece for your buyer. You can tell them, hey, I just sent you the directions, but play with the map because it has features. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go back to my map and back again, out of, one, out of the directions. One of, one of the things that I really, really like uh, about um, um, Matrix is that you can just use your browser back arrow and go back to where you were. Yeah. So in this particular scenario, let's say that I selected some properties, but for whatever reason, XYZ, I don't want to select them on my, uh, on my map anymore. Do I have to go to each one of them and then select them? Yeah, I can do that if I have time. But what if I'm in a rush? Well, you can go up here, see this, and click on none. And this refers to your selections, yes? And again, if I want to select everything on the map, Look at the map. If I want to select everything on the map, yes, you guessed it. I click on all and it will select everything. Pretty cool, right? Now we're gonna play a little bit with more exciting stuff. The first one that I want to show you is driving time. Yeah. How many times have you encountered a particular buyer that tells you, hey, uh, uh, I, I really uh, don't, don't care too much where you put me? but I need to be no more than 20 minutes away from X, Y, C. I work at such and such building and uh, I, I, I hate commuting. So it cannot be more than one, it cannot be more than 20 minutes a rush hour from this particular place. Okay, you have a built-in option for this. So I am going to pick a particular address. Let's say I'm gonna pick our office in Boca Raton. So 
this right here. You see the little clock? You're gonna click on the little clock. I'm gonna enter the address for our office in Boca. And I'm going to tell the system that I want to arrive there at 8.30 in the morning and have a maximum allowance of 20 minutes. No more than 20 minutes. I want you to look at the map. How cool is that? From any point in that figure, you can get to the office on a weekday at 8.30 in the morning. Of course, this doesn't account for, you know, terrible traffic jams or whatnot, but this is the average from everyday driving data every single day for years. And this is very accurate. So you don't have to sort of rough guess what the driving time will be. The system is doing it for you and is doing it in a very accurate way. You see the red uh, clown nose right here? If you want to delete a shape, you just go to the red clown nose and you tell it, delete the shape. I'm gonna show you another cool thing that you can do. Let's in my, I'm gonna zoom in all the way in. Let me see what I have a cluster. I have a nice cluster of results right here. Yeah. So let's imagine that my particular buyer really likes this area. They really, really like this area. But there is a problem there. There's always a problem, right? There's always a problem. The problem is that, well, you see this area right here? That's where his sister-in-law lives. And he cannot stand his sister-in-law. He doesn't want to live within 300 yards of his sister-in-law, okay? What we're gonna do is right within the area, right? I'm gonna show you something cool. You can just select any shape. I'm gonna select radius because we're talking about 300 yards. And I'm gonna to go to right where his sister-in-law lives, which is right there. Why are you not letting me play? It's not letting me play. It's freezing on me, guys. I don't know why. Just be patient. I'm going to figure this out. There you go. So now I'm going to do whatever, uh, 0.1 miles. And then when I get the, the, the red clown nose, I am going to pick exclude this shape, exclude, not include. So check this out. Now, all the results that are within that area are excluded. So your buyer doesn't have to live within 300 years of his sister-in-law that he cannot stand. How cool is that? Now, another cool thing, I'm gonna delete all, this, uh, all the shapes. Exclude the shape, delete shape, and delete shape. All right, another cool thing. Look at the map, and you see this tool right here? In my eyes, this tool looks like a, uh, like a cake. Uh, I don't know what it may look to you, but it looks like a cake. If you hover, it will say layers, right? If you click on layers, a lot of very cool stuff happens. The first thing that's gonna happen is that you can see the zips. See that? Those are the boundaries for the zip codes. You can see the city. This is not gonna be very exciting because I'm zooming at a level that everything is Boca Raton. County, Unified School District is the whole county, so don't worry about that. You can see the neighborhood though. That gets exciting. It takes a little while to, uh, uh, to load the neighborhood. There you go. See, neighbors are beginning to pop up. And this one is my favorite. School, you can see the school boundaries. So elementary school, right there. This right here, these two results are within Sandpiper Shores. But these results right here are within Sunrise Park Elementary School. How cool is that? Do you remember when you had to go to the website for the school district and look at the boundaries and then try to imagine those boundaries in your map? Do you remember that? Well, you don't have the problem anymore. And I don't know if you know this, you now can do searches by school boundaries directly in your criteria. You can add school boundaries to your criteria. So I am going to take, I'm gonna time myself 30 seconds to show you how to do that. I'm gonna to go to your criteria. I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom. 
on the bottom, you are going to add, you're going to add a field. You're going to type in there school. It's called, I already have it. You're going to type school and look at that, schools come up. So you select the boundaries that you need, you add them. I'm going to get an error message because I already have them in there. Go back. And at the bottom of your criteria, check that out. You can pick the school that you want and do a search by school boundary directly from your criteria. This is matrix school. 30 seconds, going back to the map. Let's keep on playing with language. So uh, I am going to zoom in a little bit closer. I'm going to zoom in to the point in which I can actually see the parcels. See? I'm seeing the parcels now directly. So one cool thing that you can do, probably you knew this, I'm going to mention it anyway, you can change the view and you can change it to satellite. Check that out. And I can keep on zooming in. Yeah, you can see right there if you have pools or whatnot. Back to the map. Back to the layers. Now that I am zooming all the way to the level in which I can actually see a parcel, I have options for parcels. See this? Do you see how I close boundaries and I open parcels just by clicking on the name? I'm going to do it again. Boundaries, close it, parcel. Now check this out. I bet you, you had this conversation many, many, many times. It begins like this. Oh, no, 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 no. My lot is much bigger than everybody else in this neighborhood. All right. You click on lot area. And lo and behold, that's the information directly for taxes, from taxes, on the lots. So you don't have to start an argument with Mr. My lot is right bigger than everybody else's here. You can just show, oh, gee, look at that. Your lot is actually 7,693 square feet, according to taxes. Yeah? How cool is that? Another thing that you can do with parcels, bedrooms and bathrooms, right there. These are not your, the results from your criteria. This is everything. So even if I'm looking only for five bedroom homes, it is going to show me on each one of the parcels how many bedrooms and bathrooms you have. The building area. Oh, I know you guys are liking this. <laughs> the owner name. Silvera, Pilar, Le, Carl, Sanderson, Lucas, yeah? Again, going to the layers, the address. Pretty cool, right? And the APN, if you don't know what the APN is, is just the all your number, the tax ID number, yeah? I'm going to show you something. If I am zooming all the way, and I am trying to tell the layers to tell me something that it is just that it doesn't match the scale. For example, let me go all the way out. So if I go all the way out and I tell the layers to show me the parcel characteristics, do you see how everything is in red now? Everything is in red because the map is telling me, listen buddy, I cannot show you parcel characteristics. You're looking at the map from the moon. I cannot see that. I, can I mean, Boca Raton is the size of a dime right now. I cannot show you that. You need to zoom in. And right there, it says right there, that's it. Zoom in. If you do not zoom in, you're not going to see the data that you want, right? Okay, let's zoom in until I see the parcels and then do the same thing. And now I can choose. Pretty cool, right? Now, if I do a lot of things on the map, for example, I'm going to do like uh, a equal this, I'm going to do another one here, and uh, something else. And then I realize that I just messed up my whole thing. And how do I clear all the stuff? You just clear on the broom. Click on the broom. Everything is gone at once. You don't even have to go to each one of the clown faces and change things. Now, there is one thing 
that you can do, which is super cool. Nobody knows about this. So if you're telling me that you knew about this, I don't believe you. I'm gonna go uh, all the way to the beach. So I feel like it. And, okay. Let's imagine that I have someone who's interested in buying this particular building. Doesn't matter what type of building it is. In our imaginary scenario, this is a beautiful pond, right? And my buyer wants to know how far from the sand he is. Hey, if I buy something right there on Ocean Boulevard, you want to know how far from the ocean we are, right? So you can go to the ruler right here. You see the ruler? It's almost invisible. They made it with super thin font and it's gray font. It's almost designed for you not to see it. I don't know why. You click on the ruler, and you pick a point. There's my ruler. Ruler, and you just drag to where you want to measure, and it tells you exactly in feet the distance. So I can tell my buyer, you know what? From your front door is 325 feet to the beach. How cool is that? I'm going to show you again. Just click on the little ruler right here. Once, then you click on the point that you want to measure and just write it. Of course, you can do this for mid shape, mid shape. There's another thing that you can do. I'm going to pick another random parcel. And although you do have the option to ask it for a lot area, you do not see the measures of the sides. So guess what, you can do the same thing. You can just go to ruler, click on the corner, and now you know that that's 74 feet, yeah? You know when this comes super, super handy? When you're entering a new listing and it tells you, hey, what is the water frontage that you have? Yeah? You just measure it. And because you can zoom as much as you want, you can be very, very accurate. Uh, let me go to a place that is in front of a lake. I'm just gonna drag it around until I find a little nice lake. Um, let's imagine that this is a single family home. It isn't, but let's imagine that it is, right? Wait until it reloads while it's loading. So let, let's imagine that this is a single family home and the lot ends here. I can do the same thing, go to ruler, and then I wanna measure the water frontage, which is not the same as the building frontage. So there's that. And now when I enter my listing, I can be accurate to the foot, 150 feet. Pretty cool, right? So we have a few minutes left. I'm gonna review this super fast. Oh, there's one last trick. One last trick I'm gonna show you. You can't tell anybody. This is only for the people that showed up to the course, okay? Don't share this with anybody. Anybody wants to know, they need to come to the next class, right? Or charge them 20 bucks. Uh, you know, when you want to play with the map, you are doing research for whatever reason. You're doing research because uh, you're doing farming or for whatever it is. And uh, so you don't have like a big criteria. I mean, just you open a blank search and uh, you want to see, okay, you want to see active listings, but you really don't care what. Uh, you go to the map and the map comes up like this. It's like a mess. And as you zoom in, there's just too many results and the map is all cluttered and you just wanted to work with the map and it's a clean map. But there's no way to tell the system, hey, I want a clean map. Don't show me any results. I'm just playing with the map first. Okay, I'm gonna show you this trick. Can't tell anybody. You go to matrix and you tell that you're looking for something that is zero dollars. And yes, you're going to find matches. <laughs> Because there are a couple of listings over there. One is a test listing in the North Pole, and uh, the other may be errors. There's a couple of listings in there for zero dollars, but your map is going to be clean. I'm going to show you. Once you put zero dollars, and then you go to the map, check that out. I have a clean map now. Of course, it's centering on this building, which is selling for zero dollars. It's a pretty good deal. Yes, grab your phone, call this number right now. This person is selling a condo for zero dollars. This price, zero dollars on Boynton Beach. Yep, 
There you go, zero dollars, pretty good. All right, so let's go back to the map. I was telling you, the map is completely clean now, so you can do whatever you want with the map, and then you go back to the criteria and you change it to what you actually want to do. Um, this one comes in handy when you're looking for um, uh, rentals uh, in a very wide area, yes? So you go to the map, you set up the, the area that you want, you exclude some areas that are not desirable for your, for your tenant, and once you're done shaping the map, then you just click on the criteria tab and you enter the information that you want. All right, so I am going now to unmute everybody. Let me find my controls. Where are my controls? All right. I'm going to unmute everybody. Any questions? Do no. you have any questions? I hear some chatter, but no questions. Let me see if I have any questions on the chat. No questions on the chat either. This was a very good class. We already got the information we wanted. So what do you guys think? Are you going to play with the map in a different way? Did you see anything that you have? What's up? Yes. Very cool. I, I love Very it. Very useful. If I can suggest, first I want to tell you thank you so much for taking the time to come see me online. Um, second, if you have another five to ten minutes after we finish the presentation, I copy the link. Encourage you to copy the link. directly to Matrix and then put it on the calendar. Excuse me, everybody's talking over everybody. Everybody. No, everybody. She's no, nothing. Okay, I'm going to everybody. That's it. Now now you can hear only me, which it's a mixed blessing, but okay. So uh <laughs> What I was telling you, if you have an extra five minutes after we finish this, go directly to Matrix, go straight to the map and start playing with it. Don't wait until you have a natural search. No, just play with it. Play like a child will play. That's the way you learn things, yes? Remember the layers, remember the zooming in and zooming out. Remember to pick different options, yes? And uh, if you have any questions, Give me a call. You have my information. My cell number is 954-598-4611. On my email address, I'm gonna type it here real quick. I'm gonna share the screen. Not this one. Share screen, and there we go. That is my email address. If you don't have it, write it down. Save it. If you have any questions about this, send me an email. I'll try to help you. Thank you, everybody, for taking the time to come visit me online. I hope you enjoy uh, the little tricks that you learned today with uh, Maps and Matrix. I love you all. Stay safe, and I'll see you next week when I have Monday Facebook Wednesday, Facebook, and Friday, Facebook. We are going to learn how to do our business pages on Facebook, how to do advertising on Facebook, and how to play with live and Facebook. Thank you, guys. Have a great day.